Hello, welcome to shoot day 11 on the easy bit. Um, it's a bit of a special day today because it's the last day of filming. Um, hopefully by the end of today we will have everything we need in terms of footage to complete the film. Um, still a whole load of things we need to do for post-production, uh, things we're working on trying to get hold of and trying to raise money for. Um, so wait for the link at the end for the crowdfunder or look in the description below for that. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's go and see Johnny. Have a catch up with him. So Johnny, thank you for meeting me today and catching up. And it's my pleasure. It's great to see you again. Um, so I want to ask you first, what was it that made you think, yeah, I want to take part in this, this film, The Easy Bit? I think probably a few years ago, it would have been there would have been no chance that I would have done it. Right. It wouldn't have been something I would have contemplated. It would have been, no, I'm not going to talk about yeah. what's going on. I'm not going to, especially not going to make a film about it. And yeah. that, you know, have all those intimate questions. Um, yeah. I think when my wife started a, doing the sort of series on Radio 4, and I then, you, you can't be not involved with that, you know, no, as not. the man. It was, the, you know, it was a big part of that. And it was then, I think, and once I got into that mode, um, and Sophie was doing her radio reports and I was in them as well and being asked questions. I thought, you know, if I'm in it, I'm in it, you know, and this is uh, such an important subject that I would like people to know about it. Yeah. And there's sort of times where you meet people and they don't understand or they perhaps ask some insensitive questions or they're a certain way and, and, and it was more of I'd like people to know how it is. Yeah. Sort of let it all out from the bottom of my heart. This is actually what it is. And I, th I think I found that easier to do than to speak to them directly and say, right. oh, look, this is how it all is. This is how I feel when this happens. This is how I feel, you know, when people say this, I'll do this and it'll all, it all be out there. But it was really, it was really tough. You know, it's yeah. quite tough to just go, I'm going to go and do it for me. Yeah. Um, I've never been that sort of person to, lay it all out on the line yeah so what was it like like coming into that studio sitting down i mean literally that was the first time we'd ever met yeah um you know it was a bit of an well i guess it's you know you work in media so it's a less of an alien environment for you than it probably is for most people it must be kind of strange being on that side of it 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 was and yeah. it was strange being i suppose in the sense of the radio stuff we did the other side of the glass and going well, yeah, course, hang on, yeah. why, am, why am I this side I should I should be that side you, yeah. know, uh, you know recording yeah. um, so what was so, it like like so to know, come in I was actually quite excited okay. about it to start yeah. with and interested in how yeah. it's going to be done and, and to meet you guys and um, and it was yeah excited to be that side of the camera or the microphone you know however it is and so I enjoyed it in yeah. a way because it was something different, but it was nerve wracking because I've mm. never felt I've been very good at that or that's not what I do. You know, I say always sit where you're sitting. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and yeah. That's, yeah. Sort of, that's sort of fine. But then, you know, you guys were there, you were so welcoming, everything was set up. It was, you know, it was comfortable atmosphere, mm. although some of the questions weren't comfortable yeah. to answer. Um, I could at least prepare myself and, and say, look, and you sort of would say, look, this is what I'm going to ask you. And then I could say, right, let's, let's write down yeah. You know, what I want to say. But, you know, I, I made so many notes. Yeah. I really looked at each, que each question. I was like, I'm going to say this, I'm going to say this. But when it came to it, yeah. I, you know, I'd look at them to start with, but then you just, yeah. you go off and you sort of remind yourself, oh, I wanted to say that. But, you, you know, you, you say what you want to say. And I, I just, I felt very comfortable to open up. I think because it was just the few of us yeah. in there that, you know, it wasn't a lot of people. No. Um, there wasn't a crowd or other people listening or watching and it was just us and it was a very calming atmosphere and you know, having you there who you know you you knew about it you understood it mm. and you approached it in such a nice a, a good way to talk, make it comfortable for me to yeah. the questions didn't seem a bit like oh goodness oh, yeah i mean that. it was very important for me you know obviously I've, I've been through it myself so to be able to you know, make sure that you could answer everything as honestly as you wanted to, but without kind of, you know, you know, putting you off or, you know, or needlessly upsetting you or, or mm. anything like that. It's, it's a, tr a tricky line to walk, but it, it, 
you know you guys the emotion that you can see on your face in the in the finished footage from the film i think is a testament to how honest and open you were on that day um and yeah it, it's hard i mean it is you know our lives and and, and we want to be honest but it's very easy to just almost close the door and, mm. and, and say well i'm only going to say a few things um but it felt quite good to be open and, and, and talk about it and mm. so a lot of men don't really openly talk about this sort of stuff so and to you know see you know the other guys talk about it and and some of the the bits we've watched was really good to as you see see yeah. it open up and go wow they're actually telling us what really happens that's yeah. you know and that's i feel quite i feel pr quite proud that mm. i've been able to be a part of that that's great and i think alamin described the process as being the counseling session that he didn't realize he needed <laughs> yeah. he just got to sit and talk about it and he said he didn't yeah. even think he'd spoken about the entire process in one go before yeah um so what would you say what what sort of piece of advice would you give for other guys who are going through this sort of thing twofold really sort of firstly to talk about it to try and talk as much as you can and be open about the sort of the, the truth of it the facts of it um mm. to either your partner and finding people who have that sympathetic ear that you can download sometimes all you need um is to get it off your chest and that might be a close friend or close family member or a counselor don't be afraid to talk to a counselor about this there's some mm. fantastic facility counselors that will listen and, and help you and they won't tell you to do a or b or c they will just listen and, mm. and um, just downloading that really helps um, and sort of secondly is perhaps lower your expectations of other people understanding what you're going through you know, you're going through something that the majority of people won't have been through before they might know somebody who's been through it but to really understand how you feel at certain times um, they might not know whether you've been to the hospital, they won't know you've had some bad news, they won't know what you're going through at that time. And to expect them to, I think, will only lead perhaps yourself to, to, to disappointment. Because um, it is hard. It's yeah. hard for, you know, you as a couple going through it, but for other people to see that, you know, their loved ones going through something like that. And they try and understand, but they won't, because yeah. they're not, you can't understand something that you're not, you've, you haven't been through, you're not going through. Mm. Um, so, yeah, don't expect them to be, to yeah. be really understanding of, of what you're going through. And it's hard because I'm sort of, I was talking about doing this, the film, you know, mm. and I wouldn't really openly talk about it. So, you know, there'll be people who didn't know what I was going through because I didn't always say, oh, this is what's happened today. That's what's happened today because that's not really in my nature. And that mm. perhaps made it more difficult for them to know what's going on and to be a certain way. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, if I don't expect them to to get it to get it then i'm not going to be disappointed when they perhaps don't yeah and i know that um unlike a lot of guys you actually had quite a positive experience with all of the the clinicians and and, and consultants you saw um but do you have any advice for clinics on how they can better deal with with the male partners and the men going through this stuff i haven't heard some people's stories i did feel quite lucky really that mm. i was included spoken to you yeah. know could ask questions mm. um and I felt, yeah, very involved and therefore could help a bit more. You know, yeah. you have to be available to be a shoulder to cry on support. And the hospital I went to really allowed that and let me be that. Um, but I think in you know, fertility hospitals, are, they, they see so many patients and I'm sure they get hardened to it. I'm sure they, you know, it's a bit like a conveyor belt sometimes and they'll see people come in, all different things. And I think sometimes they need to remember that for a couple this is perhaps you know this is all of their emotion mm -hmm. and they need to and they'll never it won't always be good news there'll often be bad news and, and and some really tough times and to just remember that that couple are going through really tough time yeah. and how they word things how they mm. tell you the bad news how they support i say you know we were really lucky but there are times when we've been told things or doctors have said things and you think look back and think i can't believe you said that to yeah. us now, at that point, you know, what we were going through, and you can just throw that out there. Mm. So to not, not be hardened to it. Um, and secondly, to sort of look as much at the male factor sometimes as the female factor. That's often the thing that's always looked at. Oh, you know, the, 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 the women need to come in, we need to concentrate on you. Whereas it could be something quite simple 
from a, a male side that mm. could be the problem. And that's often at secondary or even you know later down the line that that's looked at, and then that can be too late. Yeah. Um, and I think, I mean, it's, it's happening more and more, but for, for hospitals and doctors to say, right, you're both here, let's have a look at both of you, and then we'll see where we are, rather than always just concentrating on, oh, it, it's, it's a female factor, because often it, 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 it's not. Yeah, that's fantastic. Well, I want to say, Jenny, thank you so much for taking part in the film and doing this today. And, you know, it's been a pleasure getting to know you. And, you know, it's uh, I think we'll, we'll go on to do great things. So really, thank you so yeah, much. I really enjoyed it. And thank you for letting me be a part of it. And, um, yeah, and I hope, you know, it, it helps.